Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back. You are watching Forudex. Shareroid is aftermarket lineage was by a custom software, which supports almost all Android devices of all OEMs available out there, like Asus, Google, Lenovo, Motorola, Nintendo, Nokia, OnePlus, nothing, etc. You can check your device in the download link given under the video description. Does it supports your device or not? If it's supporting your device, you will get all the details like its installation process in the same link. But as you already installed and using this amazing software on our beloved OnePlus 6 and 60, and I am using it from the last one month. Unfortunately, almost all the custom ROMs for OnePlus 6 and 60 seems dead and no updates were provided by the developers except this ROM, which is maintained by the Terminator J. So today we are going to review some of the top amazing 10 features of this software in the new CRDroid 10.7 update. So watch this video till the end. Now without further ado, let's get started. Let's begin with the first best feature of this custom software that is fully functional OTA support. If your device is officially supported by the CRDroid team, you will get the real-time OTA supports like here I am using my OnePlus 6 on the old CRDroid 10.6 and OTA update is showing the new update of 10.7 release on the 18th September 2024. We can check the change log of this new updates also. We have to just tap on the install and the rest of the things like downloading and installation of software will be done automatically without booting your device into the recovery. Once done, we just need to tap on the reboot. So our device started to reboot into the new CRDroid 10.7. Second top feature of this ROM is we get such regular updates for all the officially supported devices which are merged with the latest Google source codes. Like your device is updated to the Android 14 based on CRDroid 10.7 version. Security patch is updated to the August 2024. Kernel version is 4.9.337, built with the latest top notch Android Clang tool chain 19.0.1. Build date of this ROM is of 17 September 2024. Though the month of October is going on, the developer had already released the latest test build of the October month. But it is in the testing phase, so I didn't review that here. So ultimately, we are getting more frequent updates for this custom ROM as compared to the stock OTA support. Next features are related to the CRDOT setting. We already discussed the complete features of the customization in the old video. You can refer that video for detailed customizations. But in my list, third most impressive feature added by the developer is the new QS styles. Now we get the three different settings for the QS panel icons like rounded shaped QS panel. Next is the square shaped style and third one is a mixture of both the tiles. When the tile is active it's showing the rounded shape and when it's not active it will remain in a square shape. Next fourth one feature is the haptic feedback for the brightness slider in the QS panel. This is a good feature which gives the actual feedback of the slider when you slide the brightness slider in the QS panel. Fifth is the most amazing feature that I like the most in this build. Under the buttons customization for the power menu, we get the new on-the-go mode. This is actually old school feature of the old Android 9 10 based custom ROM, but now it's available in the Android 14 too. This gives the transparent look to the phone, where camera gets activated while using the phone, and will fill the glass-like effect of the background to overall system and the applications. This looks very amazing, while actually using the phone, you can see the complete background surrounding you. Sixth feature is available under the notification. This is the alert slider notification toggle, which enables the more alert slider information like it is on the DND mode or the ringer mode, etc. If you customize it, its position using the OnePlus Extra setting, like here I am using it for the flashlight, it will show the text notification of the flashlight mode also. Seventh new and the useful feature I liked the most is the new advanced clipboard overlay toggle. If we enable this and then after copying anything, we guess this clipboard overlay on the left side of the phone. We guess the two different options here for the copied text. First one is to share this with the connected devices like desktop or Android phones. Or you can share them with the traditional share button to any device via Bluetooth. 
quick share or by using any third party sharing application installed on your device. Eighth new feature is the notification light customization. This one is a solid came back of the most requested feature because it was not fully functional in any Android 14 custom ROMs. But now you can set the notification blink light colors for the notification LED for battery levels. You can set the notification blinking red using the slider setting. You can choose any color for the missed call voicemail notification. And finally now you can able to set any different LED color for any application installed on your device. In one word, without lifting your device, you can now know which notification you got on your device using this advanced notification LED customization. The ninth feature is the three finger gestures available under the miscellaneous setting. In all the stock firmware, you can use the three finger gesture only for the screenshot. But by using this setting, you can add any different activities available for the setting list. Like you can lock the device, you can access the recents or you can do many more things. So this feature unleashes the true potential of three finger gesture. Finally, the 10th most appealing feature is for the gamers. That is the unlock higher FPS as per your device capacity. We all know that though your device supports 120-90 FPS like higher screen FPS, still the games like BGMI didn't allow to use the higher FPS in the gaming. But using the miscellaneous unlock higher FPS toggle, we can unlock the higher FPS in the BGMI. Here you can check, I am able to run the BGMI on the maximum 60 FPS in this ROM. So you can also play the games on the 120 or the 90 FPS if your device supports it. So these are the 10 amazing features of this lineage OS based on oldest custom ROM, which is available in the custom ROM world from the decades and supporting lots of devices with the regular support officially. So if your device is in the list, then definitely I recommend you to at least try it on your device and enjoy these mesmerizing features that you will never seen before. So that's it for today guys, hope you liked my work, then please do like and share this video, subscribe our channel, press the bell icon for the notifications of such amazing content. Thanks for watching, see you next time, take care, bye bye.